everybody! It's Melissa and this is Ryden. <laughs> and we're here to do Ryden's nails because she took off her other nails so that she could put on her favorite one that she's been waiting for to come in, which is Broadway Glimmer. And we're actually going to just use samples today so that we can um, show you how we can do just her nails with just four strips. So I'm going to go ahead and share this video real quick. Um, and then we can get started. So if you are watching the replay, it won't say live up here. Um, please feel free to comment replay so we can say hi to you. And let me see if I can share this. Give me a moment. And we'll see if anybody pops on live with us. Okay, there we are. See us? <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and share. right now it is just after lunchtime for us I'm actually um, about an hour until I'm done with work but I wanted to do Ryden's nails because I had a few minutes and it's really quick for me to do her nails so I have shared it we are all shared and we would absolutely love if you guys share our video that way everybody else can see how easy it is to put color street on kids so First thing that she did was she took off all her nail polish and then she washed her hands. I cut her nails, filed them, and pushed them back with a cuticle stick. These are the cuticle sticks. And then we used our alcohol wipe and we wiped all her nails. Now, like I said, we're using samples, but normally the pack comes in 16 strips, which is enough for an adult manicure and pedicure, depending on how long your nails are. But I use just four strips for my daughter from the big pack. But because I have enough of the samples of the color she's been waiting to have, how long do you think you've been waiting for this one? A long time. <laughs> she's been waiting really long for Broadway Glimmer. And I never want to open a full pack because it only takes me four strips to do her nails. So I'm so lucky I actually got Broadway Glimmer as a sample. So we're going to do, whoops, Broadway Glimmer. <laughs> Hi, Chelsea. Okay. So this is black polish with multicolored glitter on there. And so, <laughs> okay, so I usually, some people like to cut the um, strips to fit their kids' nails. For me, I like to do it just like an adult where I use the double end sides first and then I cut the extra to fit her nails. So I've already wiped all her nails with alcohol, so now I'm ready to put the polish. I'm gonna separate it. And then you see this little orange strip. I'm gonna pull that little orange strip up. Okay, and that is trash. And so the base coat and top coat are already here. I'm gonna pull up this little silver strip. So you can see it's black polish and then it has the glitter on it. So what's cool about the glitter colors is they're actually four coats of polish on them and that's why they last so long versus the solids are only three coats. So now you see I have a double-ended strip, and so I'm gonna use whatever is my smallest one on her pinky. Because her pinky is actually pretty skinny. So I placed it on her pinky, and I have all that extra that's coming off the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just pushing it on her nail to get it to adhere to her nail. And that way, I'm going to cut off the extra by just using my thumbnail. So I'm going to go under her nail. And I'm just pushing under, which sometimes, depending on how sensitive kids are, which Raiden seems to be very sensitive, sometimes they feel like it hurts them if my nail goes under their nail. So if you have some sensitive kiddos, keep that in mind. And then I can just pull off the extra because I perforated it. Okay? And so now there's the polish on her nails. Hey Josie. And so there's a little bit of extra. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna perforate around her nail bed with my thumbnail. And that comes off. I don't need to use nail polish remover to get off the extra on the side. I just perforate it. Hey Kamaili. And so now I've cleaned up all the sides. And there it is. Oh, hi, Nani. Where's your nail? There it is. 
So there's our Broadway glimmer. I should probably grab the camera. You stay right here and I'll grab the camera so everybody can see it. Okay. Okay. Okay, now go ahead and show it to them so they can see all that glitter. So it's a black polish with multicolored glitter on it and that's the Broadway glimmer color. So I loved that one when people put that on for New Year's last year. I thought it was a really, really nice color. All over glam. Okay, so now I'm putting it on her next finger. So again, I've already done the alcohol. I've already pushed back her cuticles. I'm just doing the polish. So this one is on her ring finger. There we go. And if you guys would like to share our video, please feel free to. And that way, anybody who jumps on who hasn't tried Color Street, they can click on our link in the bio or in the video description and they can get some uh, samples to them for sure. Oh, Auntie Debbie's on there or Papa. <laughs> One of them. Uh, Auntie Chelsea said, isn't it fun to get cute nails? Do you love getting your nails done? Are you? So my computer has our video on it over here. So she's watching us on the video and so she's laughing at herself <laughs> silly that's what she's doing currently so Ryden is five and she actually just started kindergarten which has been super super exciting are you liking kindergarten uh-huh yeah it has my friends um friends friend uh -huh. um at that class his name is Brody that's Clara's friend. Clara's friend? Mm-hmm. From friend. <laughs> Auntie Debbie said Papa is sleeping, but Auntie Debbie says hi. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now I have this extra piece, which you can see it's not really rounded. Okay. Once you can read, you can read everybody's comments. So you see how it's not rounded, but I still want to use that because that's a huge piece. So for me, I just use scissors. The smaller the scissors, the better. And I just cut off the corners that make it jagged and I just round them so that I can use it on her nails. See that? Yes, babe. But could we not hear that? Because I have the sound turned off. Oh, I wish there was a sound. But then I would be hearing myself. Oh, please. Right okay, so I've rounded it and that way, you see that? Now I'm going to use that on the next nail. So I've done two nails already, and so now I'm going to do her next nail, which I think this is going to fit probably right on her thumb or her middle finger. So her nails are short, but wide. So depending on the kids that you guys do, some of them have longer nail beds, shorter nail beds. I would consider my daughter's nails to be like somebody who bites their nails. It would be like somebody who bites their nails. So her nails are super short. Look at that. But it goes on just fine. Hi, Marcy. Hi. How are you? How are all the kids liking school now that they're back to school? Is everybody, oh, careful with that. Everybody loving it. I know sometimes with kids, they either love going back to school or they hate going back to school. Both my kids wanted to go back to school the weekend after school was done. They were ready to go back. They don't like being at home with nothing to do. They could, they don't want to watch TV. I mean, they like watching TV when they're watching it, but if they could choose what to do, they would be choosing to go to school. So I'm hoping that in five years, that's still the case and that we still want to go to school every day. Okay, so now I have this very thin part, but still more than enough for her nails because her nails are so teeny. So again, I'm just gonna cut it with my scissors. Smaller scissors would be better, but we will survive. Again, she's watching herself in the other computer, which is why she's making all those crazy faces. She's watching it. So you guys probably know when your kids take your phone, they're probably doing a whole bunch of like videos and selfies and all that good stuff that we all cringe at that our kids know how to do. 
They're loving it, and I was just there a second and it just did well. Awesome! Okay, so this one's going on her pinky. And I mean, you guys, it's up to you on how OCD you are when you do your kids' nails. For me, I'm okay with it not being absolutely perfect because even though my nails last me about two weeks or so, my daughter's nails, if I'm lucky, last about a week. And that's just because kids like to play in the dirt. They like to um, pick at their nails, all that stuff. But prior to using Color Street, I'd be lucky if it lasted one hour. I mean, it would last one day if it was a good day. Hey, Tony. So I used one strip, and let's see how many nails did we do total. Let's not worry about that. Let's turn that off since you're having a hard time with that. Three. You count only three nails all together? Yeah. I count a little more than three nails. Five. Four nails. We've done four nails <laughs> with one strip. So I usually do all ten nails with only four strips. That's it. Okay. Okay, so now we're on our next one. I know, it is crazy how, like, she, my kids don't, aren't allowed to watch YouTube. Um, we've taken it off all of their tablets and stuff, and it's not because I don't trust them going on YouTube. It's because nobody monitors YouTube. So if any of you guys have ever seen the stuff that's on there, that's marked as kid related. It is not. And so I had to take it off. But in the time that she has seen YouTube, it's been a lot of those like videos where little kids like talk about toys and stuff. And so it's so cute when I look at some recorded videos that she does, cause she'll come on there and, and what do you say? This is Raiden. No, I don't. <laughs> I never go on there. No, 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 on mommy's <laughs> phone. And you record yourself and you make oh. videos. And it's so cute to see them make their videos. So she'll like record and she'll be like, this is my mom, this is my brother. And I absolutely love it. I do it with my own tablet. Yeah, she does it with her own tablet. And it's so cute. So, so cute. Oh, you're doing your nails today? Ooh, what to do, what to do? Lots to pick from. I have your other bag sitting next to me, which I know you're probably waiting until the fall comes out before I ship your whole bag to you, but it's sitting right next to me. Yeah, YouTube is not kid friendly. Even the kid version of YouTube, like I know there's a kid version of YouTube and it's still, it's not monitored. As long as you mark it as, um, what is it called? Like kid related, like there's a checkbox on your videos that you can say it's for kids. That's what causes them to go on the kid channel. And of course there's people out there who like to trick the system. So we don't watch YouTube. Hey, Angela. Okay, so now I'm putting on her next one. So we're doing Broadway Glimmer, which is super, super dark, but it's glitter and I'm totally fine with that. Thankfully, her school allows her to wear nail polish as well as soccer allows her to wear nail polish. So we are okay with it. Fall should be coming out. We're hoping from what I've heard so far is the first week of September. No, I don't know if it's actually fall that comes out the first week of September or if it's Halloween. But one or the other. Oh, great. So because she goes to kindergarten now, she doesn't take naps. And in preschool, which she had two years of preschool at Kamehameha, uh, they always took naps every single day. And so this no nap thing is very new to her. But on the weekends, she would never take naps. Ever. I get tired at kindergarten. Now she says she gets tired at school. She's tired. But she don't wanna she don't wanna take a nap when she gets home. She just wants to play. Just play, play, play. So tell me, do you guys kids eat school lunch or do you guys make home lunch? When I went to school, I don't remember there being an option for my mom to make home lunch. It was school lunch or nothing. I don't remember a home lunch option. Well, my daughter has home lunch. She makes me make home lunch every day, <laughs> which is fine because lunch costs $2.50 per meal, which if you have a picky eater is not worth it. And mine is very picky. So we make home lunch every day, which I think you eat your home lunch, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. For the most part she eats it. So at least I know she's eating. Only if they 
I like. Yeah, so we've tried to tell her what's on the menu for lunch, but she has yet to pick a day, and she's now finished her second week, and she's yet to have school lunch. No school lunch yet. My kids are spoiled. Home lunch since elementary school. <laughs> we make lunch. We can buy from the truck shop. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I make home lunch, and I am so excited for the day I don't need to do that anymore. <laughs> I don't want to make home lunch, but I also don't want to pay two fifty for a meal that my kid's not going to eat anyway. So it's kind of a catch twenty two. Okay, so we've now done how many nails have we done? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We've done seven nails with only two strips. Yes, babe. We um, I there's a new kindergartner at my. Oh, in your class? Uh-huh. Oh, what's their name? I forget. <laughs> okay. I can't remember. So I am going to open my second sample because she's done seven nails, which is two strips. So we're going to open one more. <laughs> Usually I like to get fancy with her nails just because I use, I, it's fun for me to do her nails, but she does not like my creativity. She prefers one nail set on all 10 of her nails. And I just go with it. Because it takes long. Oh, uh, she says because it takes too long. Because I want to play outside and play with my friends. Oh, yeah, but with Color Street, can you just go play right after? You don't have to wait for it to dry. Okay, so we're pulling off. Okay, and then we pull off that little tab. So now it's double ended. I find it hard to do my daughter, daughter's nails straight. I do mine because then I wreck my nails. So I do hers first now. Yes. So right now I have no, I have no uh, polish on right now. It's like black inside. I don't know why it's black. I must have been cleaning. But yes. Yeah, so I don't do my nails. I do my daughter's first. And if I do do her nails, it's a couple days after mine are done. Oh, Auntie Karen is on. Say hi, Auntie Karen. Hi. <laughs> How's Cam liking school? Is Cam in kindergarten? I can't remember if he was one year behind Rai or same year. I think he's one year behind Rai then. Okay, so there's her pointer. And so now we're going to take off all that extra by just using my thumb. And I'm just going to perforate mm -hmm. under her nail. And her nail is short. So I push right under her nail. Thanks for letting you know um, three times after you've already done it. I know I'm super helpful like that. He's P4. Okay. That's what I thought. So Lennox is P3. And Lennox is absolutely loving Kamehameha. What about me? No, you love kindergarten. I'm telling you, I'm telling you to turn. Okay. So there we go. You guys, I don't know. So I'm debating... If I should put on Marble City, which I always try not to wear nails that people can't get, but I love it so much. And my nails got like some length on them. So I want to do something that looks like really dramatic on them, which I guess ombre would probably be a good one to do. But I also want to do solids because solids are so, so gorgeous. If you can take the time to put them on really, really nicely. And so I've been debating putting solids on, but also ride and play soccer. And so tomorrow's a soccer game. So I've been debating putting on soccer nails. I have no idea what I'm doing. Not sure at all. Oh, do you love it? How many more nails do I have to go? One. One nail left. So I don't know. I think I was going to take a poll, but then I feel obligated to do whatever wins. So then I get nervous to take a poll because in case it's not the one I want. I know it's so so nice and that's the last one that I have I mean I have the mauve one too which if I'm talking about doing a solid I could do the mauve too stop it's loud on the camera okay so I have one nail left so I've only used three strips and so I was saying I used three or four but I only had to use three strips for all ten of her nails and her nails are shorter so it totally depends on how long your kid's nails are. 
and how OCD you are about it. I mean, none of her nails look bad at all. I don't ever do my kids' nails bad because I want people to look at them and be like, where did you do your nails? And I want her to tell them, oh, it's Color Street, my mom. My so friends we ask me. Do your friends ask you? And what do you tell them? Um, the, remember when Kitana asked me, mm -hmm. where did you get the nails? And I said, my mom didn't paint them. It's Color Street. Yeah. And she's like, what Color Street? And I was like, um, and stuff that doesn't, um, to dry and then we went to ask you <laughs> so now the last th uh, last thing is I'm gonna use the alcohol and I'm just gonna wipe all ten of her nails now I don't know about you guys and your kids but her nails seem to be oilier than most that I've done so for me I always try to wipe it really good with alcohol at the very beginning before I put the strips and get them as dry as possible before I start because she has had it where a whole nail will slip right off. In the bathtub. In the bathtub. And always, you guys, remember, don't take a shower right after. If you can, do it before you go to sleep or do it first thing in the morning. And that way you're not going in the shower afterwards. Because it will come off because it's curing to your nails. So do wait for that part because that does happen to us. I always try to do it right before she goes in the shower. And then I wonder why it slips off when it's in the shower. <laughs> Sometimes we don't think it through. So don't worry, Tony, even though I haven't told you, it's because I also forget. It's like my tattoo. Your tattoo? Mm -hmm. Remember when he says, let's do it before we shower and, and it's um, a not permitted one and it slipped right off. Yeah. Okay, so now let's show you guys. Solid take time and patience. I wrecked mine last set and gave up and put a glitter one on. Yeah, solid definitely takes practice for sure, but they look so gorgeous on when you can do solid. So you guys see her nails are short, super, super short, but enough for me to actually do polish. But same thing with kids. Don't put them on the cuticle because if they start to come up, kids will pull at it. And that is exactly how it will come off. You guys, I'm making my daughters like, whole arm be total opposite of what it needs to be a buffer is that what you what you're saying you need yeah I I like using the buffer because I can just flip it as I'm doing it and I'm just getting the big chunks of glitter off the end but when you are an adult and you do the big chunky glitter wait until the next day to file it because you want the glitter to harden if you do it well the polish is still wet which means it's still curing um then the whole glitter will come off and then you'll have a big piece missing on your nail so wait it out until the following day so yeah some of her nails are extremely extremely short but i like that i can still do her nails with color street even though her nails are short and for me it does her nails do grow with color street because she's not biting them and it kind of is creating a barrier. You don't have them. So that is it. All her nails are done. Okay, show them all of them together. That is her Broadway Glimmer. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay. What do you tell everybody? Hi. Okay, thank you guys all for watching. We appreciate it, and I'll come on live when I do my nails, hopefully shortly. Okay, bye everybody!